What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to your Monday update. Today we're taking a look at the new players that they've added and it is FC Barcelona and a Spanish league selection. So we're going to start with the Barcelona pack. Just give a quick run through of it, a quick review of the players. There's some good players here. We will head over to eFootballDB as well and check those out. So you will get three spins at this. It ends in seven days and there's eight players in here. Now there's a couple of players missing from this. Obviously most notably Koundé. Uh, he's in the in the Spanish league and there's also just a couple of players missing uh, just, just in general. So um, it's just eight players from Barcelona that we're going to see here. So we're going to start with Balde. Now this guy is quite decent lads. He's very, very quick. He's very fast. He's actually a rapid left back. If you don't have a proper left back that can get up and down the pitch, this guy's got really good stamina and acceleration when you train him up, goes into the 90s. He's also got double touch. He doesn't have one touch pass, which I think would have made this card a little bit more usable. Um, but I do think he is a great card as well if you do, you know, spin for him. Um, as I said, lads, depending on where you are with your, with your squad, you probably don't need to spin for a lot of these because even if we head over to football DB here and check, right, this is the new card, right, that they released. Sorry, this is the new card that they released, okay? Um, this one here, as we're seeing on screen, right? This is the card that they released for part of the eFootball Championship Pro, okay? Look at how identical these cards are. So the only difference between these two cards is that this one has uh, better defensive awareness, but less speed. Um, so, I mean, they're practically, you know, like really similar cards. But when we do max them out, we can go 92 speed, 93 acceleration. And as ever, if you do want dedicated training guides for any of these players, let me know in the comments below. We've got a similar situation with Eric Garcia. This guy is a very good player as well. He's got some nice player skills, but not really any proper player skills that are going to have him in your squad. You know, he's a nice um, he's a nice card, but that's just about it, in my opinion. His defense goes into the 90s. His speed and acceleration go into the 70s. His physical contact is 79, balance uh, 74, stamina 79. And he can play a little bit of ball as well uh, with the tight possession and low pass and loft pass, which is always nice for where the gameplay is probably going to end up going a little bit more um, when we do have, you know, the next update or or, or whatever, right? Because he is, a, he is a nice card, but I just think that there's a lot like not to like about this card as well, especially the standard form, the fact that he's on C rating and that he doesn't have blocker, okay? So that's two things just to keep in mind there as well. We also have Kessie. A lot of people like this guy. I mean, obviously, he does have really good player skills. Um, He's got a wavering form. Again, he's on C rating, which is a bit of a pity. I de definitely think he should have been on uh, A or B. Um, knuckle shot, long range shooting is always nice. He also has track back, man marking, and interception with fighting spirit and sliding tackles. So he's a very defensive box to box, which can be quite rare to have all these player skills. Um, so he's definitely one of the picks of him. I will do a training guide on him, I think, if people are wondering how to train him up, because he does go into a nice little 93 overall when you train him this way, um, especially with that aggression high speed and acceleration are kind of, you know, you can mix and match those. And to be honest with you, if you're going for a defensive build of this guy i don't think you need as much um low passing you know i would probably cap that at like 78 and then the dribbling i would leave at 75 for the dribbling for the tight possession that's more than enough but i would probably up um his defending and i would also probably up his speed and dexterity if you could as well now he's only a 92 overall there but i think for an intercepting center midfielder that's going to be a box to box Again, he's a very good card. Now, they did release a, a Barcelona club pack as well. And you can see, compared to this card, it's identical. Practically the exact same card. Everything is the same, except this has 90 team play style, as do all the new cards that we're seeing here. Ferran Torres, I mean, we can roll him in with Dembele. The two of those, both wingers, both rapid fast. Obviously going to be a big uh, boost of injection of uh, pace into your squad. Um, I haven't played too much with Torres because, you know, the biggest problem with Torres is the fact that he's got standard form um, and the fact that he does not have one touch pass. Now, his passing skills are quite decent um, other than that or his, uh, you know, true passing and pinpoint crossing with low lofted. But he doesn't have early crosser if you're going to be playing him on the left or right mid. Um, so we're going to be using him. We're going to be using him as a dedicated, like, you know, winger, like dedicated winger. And I just feel that, like, even though he's got good cards and stuff, he does have double touch. Um, he does have a couple of other good skills. I just feel like Dembele is always going to be a better player than him, even though he doesn't have unwavering form either. Um, you know, I just feel like that Dembele with the heel trick, with the true pass and the pinpoint cross, and they've all got the same. He's got early crosser with him as well. So you can use Dembele in a little bit more of a role. I think he's definitely the better option here if you do spin him. 
And of course, we've got, you know, huge speed on both of these guys when we take a look at them. So Torres goes into like, you know, he's got nearly 90. When you get the form arrow with him, he'll have 90 plus on ball control, dribbling, uh, acceleration, balance and speed are about 85. So it's not too bad. And then Bella is in a similar situation when we train him up. I mean, we are going to be going for just pure... Um, pace and power with Dembele I mean you can get his dribbling up to 90 very easily you can get his speed up to 95 very very easily and then of course we also have his stamina which is sometimes a bit of an issue but his speed goes to 90 with stamina 75 I think that's more than enough for a winger depending on how you're playing him especially if you use um you know out wide a lot I think that you don't need to really cut in too much and and shoot I mean obviously you can boost that up if you want to but I definitely think that you you know will probably be looking to to kind of like um get more uh, kind of like just basically train him as a dedicated winger where you have him on the flank, you're going to be either bring him in off the bench or you're going to give, you know, 60, 70 minutes of him just tearing up and down the flanks. And I do think he outperforms Torres in pretty much everywhere. And again, you've got that, um, you know, comparison there very easily. The only difference between the eFootball Championship Pro card and this new one is the fact that this one had better acceleration but worse ball control, whereas this one had, um, you know, got better... Um, better ball control and dribbling and this card is extremely similar as well so this card had better speed so if you have any of these cards i would definitely you know think twice about spinning in my opinion um we also have gabby so gabby's kind of an interesting one lads right i don't want to spend too much time on these because be multiple versions of gabby gabby is a kind of an interesting one because a lot of people have missed out on getting him he's got one touch pass double touch he also can play in that attack and midfielder role which is where i think i would probably put him and the thing I really like about Gabby is because where the gameplay has gone at the moment, right? When we look at his skills here, he does have true pass and he does have fighting spirit and he does have really high aggression. So he's a very kind of unique, interesting card, especially with the, the balance that he has, right? Balance is a hugely important stat. But even if we go to 85 acceleration as an AMF here and we go a couple onto the dribbling, we've got, an, an, you know, all those dribble stats are going to be in the 90 zone there um, when we do get the form arrow. We're going to have acceleration and balance really high as well. Offensive awareness is always nice to have that. But if we pop in a couple into aggression, we have 90 aggression on a player with these skills as well. Now, obviously, we have a bit of an issue with the speed and stamina for playing him as an AMF CMF. Um, but yeah, I definitely think that is an insane card. I will probably do a dedicated training guide on him because there's a lot of different ways you can train him depending on your play style. But he is a fantastic card, I think, as well to have there. Um, we also have Ter Stegen. I won't spend too much time on Ter Stegen. I've been very impressed with Ter Stegen, lads. I think he definitely plays above his skills. Um, 90 reflexes is kind of where I set that at the whole time. And once you go kind of through those stats, you will see that apart from catching, he's going to have extremely high goalkeeper stats. And you can also throw in one more there to get an extra jump. And again, when you take a look at him, um, this card is better than pretty much any of the cards that they have released so far of this uh, guy. And he's got 21 levels, you know, even comparing to the breakout star one here, or the Derby Day, um, this card is way better in everything. So that's just something to keep in mind as well. I will definitely try and get Ter Stegen, especially that he's on B form this week. And then last but not least, we do have De Jong. Now, a lot of people have asked me about De Jong, whether or not he's a good enough player to have in your kind of, you know, your end game squad, right? I personally think that's, that's a really good question because he does have a wavering form. He's on A rating this week. He has double touch. He has one touch pass. He's got really, really good stats straight off the rip. He also has true pass and way to pass for a CMF, AMF type position. A lot of people like myself have played him as a CB, but I don't think this version of him plays well as a CB. Um, if you take a look at the pack that they released way back when, which was the first ever Barcelona pack, you can see the difference in the stats there um, defensively with the aggression and the, the defense stats, right? Um, this didn't follow through to any other card, right? This card is identical to the eFootball Championship Pro one that they released, and it's practically identical to the Netherlands pack that they released, as well as this one that they released as well, the league selection. Um, so there's been multiple versions of him. But I do like this pack because it does have 23 levels, apart from the Netherlands, which had 28. Um, it does have the most levels here. It has tied with these levels, but it's got better stats, apart from this one, which is an identical card, okay? So if I was training him up, we will do a training guide on that if you want him. But again, you don't have to put too much into his passing because you will be getting the boost. You know, the low pass, the ball control, the dribble, we can go a little bit higher with that to get the dribbling type position up into the 90s, 90 zone. 
Um, speed is quite decent as well for a player like that. Defensively, I don't think he's going to be worth it. As an orchestrator, all you're going to want to do is just be on the ball as much as possible, you know? Um, that's probably where you would need to kind of excel with him, so to speak, um, and really just try and get that balance up as best as you possibly can. You know, you don't really need shooting, in my opinion. I would definitely just pump in as much as I could into his attacking abilities and not play him defensively at all. So that is it, lads, for me. I'll be back with another couple of training guides on these. If you want, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, peace.